bullish or bearish. Whether you're a rookie trader or a rock star, we believe there's room for everyone. Every Filipino can learn how to trade. We're just your average Joe. But together, let's take advantage of the greatest equalizer of wealth ever, the stock market, where millions can be made and lost in a click of a finger. The journey to trading mastery is a lifetime, and we're here to stay. We are ZFT. And this is where the hot money is. Yon. Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. O yung mga ka-AG nyo dyan, invite nyo naman sila sa ating Ask ZFT Podcast for tonight. DM nyo na yung mga friends nyo inside PR. We'll be having a very um, relevant and yeah, very relevant discussion for tonight. Given what's happening around us and given what's happening sa market. No? So I think napakagandang topic na to. So before we start, yan, invite nyo yung mga, ano nyo, mga friends nyo, ka AG. Yung mga indirect mentors nyo, mga jowa nyo na nasa TR, send them the link and sabihin nyo sa kanila na may, may natatawa. Oh. Si Joy. Sino pa itong... Ah, Joy yung... Joy yung pangalan ng emoji pala. Kaya ko Joy yung nag-react. Sinong nag-react niyan? Okay, we'll start in... In a bit. <clears throat> Yan. Sige. Right. So, good evening, guys. Good evening, Trading Republic. Good, good evening to all our citizens right now. So welcome to our Ask ZFT podcast for tonight. This is your host, Cosmos. And meron tayong pag-uusapan ngayon na I think everyone can relate and everyone can benefit from. No? So yung discussion natin for tonight, for episode 35, is all about mental health. And mental health talks. Dealing with inner resistances and breakdowns. And yan yung topic natin. So, itong ano natin guys, itong episode natin, it's inspired by a thread that I think nag-start siya two days ago or three days ago sa shinere ni Ish. So, nandito ba si Ish? Uh, yes, nandito. Yun, present. Thank you Ish for your, ano no, for your initiative and courage to share about your current trading status. So, bago natin i-open up yung episode natin, gusto ko muna i-highlight no, yung mga key takeaways na nakuha ko dito sa discussion sa Consultations Fox Channel. Okay, so para lang may idea lahat kung ano yung naging um, inspiration netong episode na to. So, ayan. Hindi ko mahanap kung nasaan yung Consultations Fox, Fox Channel. Ang daming ano. Ang daming na lang channel dito sa, ano, sa TR, no? Ayun. Wait lang ha. Control K, ako, sir. Control K. Tapos type nyo Control K. Ah, control. Control, control Shift K. Boss, pakuhost daw si ano, Boss Ken para pwede daw niya ma-enable yung chat. He knows daw how. Ah, okay. Boss pwede Karen Cabonzi. Boss Karen. Boss Karen. Ken Cabonzi. Tama no? Make co-host. Ayan. Sige sir, co-host ka na. Anyway, going back, no? Sana ba yung consultations channel dito? Dami na kasi nating channel. Dito ba yun? Must read. Dito ba si can search doon? Yan. Dito pala. No? Bano pa rin ako sa, ano eh, sa Discord same, same. hanggang ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Dami kasing features. Minsan, hindi mo alam kung tama ba yung pinapasukan mong channel. Ayan, eto, eto. So, grabe. Grabe yung discussion na naganap dito, no? Dami talagang nag-share, nagbigay ng kanilang mga insights. Pero ayun na nga, yung pinaka-trigger nito is yung shinere ni Boss-ish. So, ito yung 
Ano ba yun? Ayan. So, hi everyone! I would like to ask for an advice regarding my personal struggle ngayon. Di ako in sync sa markets as of the moment. I'm not on my 100% trading state. I'm not really sure about sa exact cause. Pero I think may factor yung nag-resign ako sa job. Focus on my physical and mental health. Okay. So, itong si Sir Ish, hindi na to siya bago no, sa ating um, podcast. Kasi, I think four episodes ago, ginawa ko siyang ano, um, guest. Naging guest siya dito sa atin, sa ating Trader Chronicles. We're in chinere niya yung kanyang trading journey. And very interesting yung trading journey ni Ish kasi um, coming from a very, uh, coming from a state na parang hindi siya mentally stable to achieving consistency in terms of profits. And ayun, parang na-address niya yung pagiging mentally unstable niya through dealing with himself and self-improvement and improving his mindset through trading. So here, here he is right now and nag-open up siya ulit. Sabi niya dito, I am I am really lost. Okay, so I don't know what to do. Hindi naman ako losing streak sa trading. So ito, lagi kong na lagi kong napapansin sa kanyang ano, kanyang sharing. Walang kinalaman yung losses or yung um, poor performance sa trading. So ganito din yung sinabi niya dito, no? Hindi siya losing streak and happy naman daw siya sa performance niya. And his portfolios are doing well. Pero deep inside, may void sa mind ko na hindi ko alam kung paano ko i-approach. Ayan. Currently, my cycle is gising, tingin sa market screen, watch list, tunganga, then ruminate all day. What's ruminate? Ang deep pala ng word na to. Ngayon ko lang napansin. Parang, Paulit-ulit siya. Yeah, Parang over- ano ba? Ano? Overthinking. Ah, okay. Sige, so new word learned for tonight. Ayan. Paulit-ulit Parang siya and I want it to stop. Cosmos. Parang um, reminisce. Parang ganun. Parang reminisce, cyclical, but... Yeah, cyclical thinking. So, you're, mm. you're parang stuck as a... It's like a loop, ganun. Parang you rehearse the same things over and over again. Okay, so, it's like negative reminiscing. Parang ganun na lang. Can be. It's Para... not necessarily... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in a way. In a way. The, the way you define it, guys. Parang ganun ko siya naintindihan. Yes. So yun, paulit-ulit daw and I wanted to stop. Thank you and have a good day. So hindi ko nababasahin yung mga other discussions here. So ayan, nandyan si Ken, nandyan si Ish, si Lizelle, si Lirpa, yung mga mentors, mga other citizens. Lahat sila nagbigay ng napakagandang ma inputs dito. So kung hindi nyo pa ito nababasa guys, I suggest that you read this thread. Alright? So dahil dyan sa post ni Ish, we decided, or actually hindi ako no, um, I was provoked. <laughs> I was motivated by one of the one of the citizens inside TR si Mariel. So siya yung nag-provoke sa akin na ito daw yung magandang episode for this Sunday. Ay, napaka-strong pala ng word na provoke, no. So yan. So sabi niya din, um i-voluntold niya daw si Lizel at si Jella dito sa episode na to. So syempre ako masunurin lang naman akong tao inside TR, sinunod ko si Mariel. Ginawa kong episode to and in-invite ko si Lizelle and Jella to which they accepted naman. Ayan. So, let's welcome our guest host sa ating room. Um, let's welcome Lizelle and Jella. Diyan natin ang... Ayan ba akong palakpak? Ayan. Meron ba? May, meron ba kayong... Meron. Very fake. Meron? Okay, okay. Meron, meron. Sige, sige, sige. So, ayan. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> So wait lang, kailangan nyo pa bang in- introduce yung sarili nyo or siguro a little bit of introduction na lang kasi I think may mga bago tayong people inside TR, yung mga graduates ng TIP natin, batch oh, 5. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. So tell us about yourself, siguro kahit mga background lang and how long you've been in TR and what you, ano yung role nyo inside TR. Let's start uh, with Lizel. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Good evening and welcome to Ask ZFT. I'm Lizel and I have been inside the Trading Republic since August 2020. Um, I was a Titan Technical Intensive uh, August 2020 batch and also a TIP graduate November 2020 batch. Um, batch Gemini, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, <laughs> Batch possible. Gemini. Yes. Um, right now, I am one of the guild leaders, also one of the Trading Republic Police Department, 
NFT Mavericks Investment Committee, um, the Entertainment Resident Host. What else do Dami. I do? Dami. Talker. <laughs> ano pa? Publishing Director. And then just recently, the official Scrum Master of ZFP. So I help with project yeah. management. Ayun. Grabe, everywhere. Ito, ito si Lizelle kahit saan. Nandyan yan. So, <laughs> May kailangan ka inside PR. She is one of the persons to talk to. Right? Thank you, Liz. Um, si Jella naman. So, tell us about yourself, Jella. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good evening. And especially sa mga bago. Um, I'm Jella. And I I think this is this is not my first time in Ask ZFT. And yes. I remember yung Ask ZFT natin before. Mga last 2020 pa. <laughs> Kaya I'm just really proud of, you know, Um, ang tagal na nating gumagawa ng ganito na Ask CFT. Right? And yun, um, what I do, or wait, I started sa TR, or serving in TR, or in the CFT universe, March 2020, and I enrolled sa technical intensive no August 2020 rin. Same with Liz, no? magka-batch kami niya ni Liz, ni Marielle. And um, what else? So, I started serving sa ZFT through TFR, yung free group natin. And then, current, currently, um, I'm one of the trading leaders. At the same time, leaders din ng youth traders, together with Ras, Gab, and and Nix. And at the same time, um, recently lang din, I was given the role to lead yung lahat ng content na ginagawa natin in ZFT. So, I'm just really happy, really honored to do that kasi I really love our brand. And hindi lang kasi tayo mm. brand. We are a community. That's why dream, it's a dream come true for me to be able to create contents for ZFT. And also recently, um, I was blessed to, given the opportunity to be able to teach sa technical intensive. So, Yun. There. <laughs> Nakatapos lang ng modules mo, no? No, um, ano I'll recite tomorrow. Other day? At kakatapos mm. lang ng SIB. Okay. Kamusta naman? Kamusta yung experience sa TI? Before student, ngayon <laughs> mentor slash coach na. Nako, grabe, Boss Cosmos, yung kabaho. Mahal lang akong calm. If nandun kayo, <laughs> mahal lang akong okay lang. Ganyan, structured and everything. But then, deep inside, lalo nung sa simula, sabi ko siya, this is my first time. Ganyan, I know naman na I've prepared so much. But then, bakit ako kinakaman? <laughs> Ganun. But then, yun nga, um, by the grace of God talaga, sabi ko, Lord, I'll just lift this up to you para sa'yo rin naman to. Kaya yung, kaya yung ano, tutulong sa akin for it. And then, mm-hmm. yun nga, um, enjoy naman. As in, kasi, Um, dream ko talaga magturo and hindi ko alam kung saan basta I just really have this heart to teach people and I'm just mm. really happy na God brought me to this situation na okay ito yung tuturo mo ganyan parang ganun so I'm just really happy for you yun congrats Jella for uh, the, that wonderful transition no from student to mentor so ayun guys no um sa mga bago dito sa TR this is the type of development that we do inside the republic. So, ang ano lang naman dyan is, don't hesitate to stand up and showcase mo yung mga kaya mong gawin. Kasi dito sa TR, we're always on the lookout for people like Jella and Lizelle. Okay, so thank you guys for introducing yourself. Now, let's go to our topic. Kasi, uh, itong episode na to, hindi naman to about sa atin. No? This is about what our traders inside TR are going through. So, mental health talks, dealing with inner resistances and breakdowns. All right, Maybe we can start with this um, question. No? So, yung first ano natin. How does your state... Ba to? Mali pa yung pag-phrase ko ng question. How does your state of mind yan, state of mind affect your trading? So, um, sa mga nandito ngayon, the reason why we have this talks is because we are a firm believer that your mindset is a very big factor in your trading success. So, um, I'm not sure if this is something that other trading groups emphasize. Pero, di ba, yung typical, ano, typical perspective ng mga traders is it's all about the charts, it's all about technicals, indicators, etc. Pagdating sa mindset, parang, ah, mindset is important but it's not 
probably the most important or it's something na parang supplementary lang siya doon sa trading mo. But here in PR, here in ZFT, we don't believe in that. Kaya nga meron talaga tayong mga dedicated modules for um, trading mindset. We have a trading psychologist inside PR, which is the Ma'am Celeste. So that's why um, this is something that we believe is very important at dapat pag-usapan natin. Not just you know that not just in formal sessions but every day sa mga AG natin even even sa normal discussions natin here inside Discord so ayun no we believe that it's a big factor and ako naniniwala ako na kahit gaano ka kagaling as a trader if your state of mind is not healthy it's impossible okay that's the word it's impossible for you to experience trading success so what about you guys do you believe in that Yes, definitely, Boss Cosmos. Na yun nga. Um, as you've said, it's impossible to actually have, alam mo yun, a pangit na mindset or not be in a good state and actually mm. perform well in trading. And I know mm. a lot of us here can relate to that. And di ba kahit na sinasabi natin in trading na kaya yung matutunan ng ano kahit grade six, basta alam niyo lang yung mga basic concepts ng math, kanya di ba? Mm. But then if you really dive into trading and actually execute we get to realize na sya hindi to magali hindi, hindi to madali <laughs> hindi sya madali kasi you know um since we're dealing with money syempre we treat trading as a craft but then in trading kasi we are dealing with money kasi iba sya when it comes to ano eh yung um daily job natin like for example me previously i was a civil engineer ganyan so parang expected naman or alam mo yun, may security ako every other month na, okay, kahit anong matapos ko na work, ganyan, uh, at the end of the month, this is how much I'm gonna earn, ganyan. But then, in trading kasi, that's not the case, right? So, in trading, parang, yung money natin is always on the line, di ba? We're betting our money. Mm. And sobrang, yun nga, um, yun din sa isa sa mga nabasa ko before na, every time na yung, money natin is on the line or malaki yung pera na binibet natin in the markets, the more that our emotions also go up or become intense, mm. right? So, yun nga, parang, syempre, we have a separate podcast for that when it comes to, yun nga, yung mindset ng um, mental wallet, right? But then, mm. ayun, um, I think, kasi we attach money with security. So that's why it's really hard, no? So that's why, aside from, alam mo yun, being in a good state, na parang okay ka with your family, okay ka with your friends, or okay ka in other areas of your life, your money mindset should also be okay. Okay. So, so may question ako sa'yo, Jella. Um, what was that point in your trading journey na na-realize mo na sobrang importante pala nung mindset or nung mental health mo? Oh, okay. Um, before, kasi syempre, di ba, pag beginner, Uh, you have to learn the basics na tipong paano ma- mismo mag-open ng ano ng chart ganyan mag-read ng chart and everything syempre at the start you won't realize na kailangan mo na okay yung mindset mo ganyan but then i realized talaga na important yung mindset when i was executing na talaga yun talaga as in you hmm. will never be a good trader if you don't execute Okay. So, um, I think yun din talaga, if you want to grow as a trader and really get to know yourself, you know, yung mindset mo, kanyan, di ba? You really have to execute, kanyan. So, dun ko talaga, Boss Cosmos, na-realize na, <laughs> hala, ano, kailangan ko pala ng mindset nung ano, nung mm-hmm. nag-execute na ako, ganyan. And yun nga, uh, as uh, some of you may know, yung story ko that I lost two ports, as in, wipe out talaga. <laughs> wipe out talaga before, you know, I have na, na umoke yung sistema ko, ganyan, bago ako natauhan na, okay, kailangan ko magseryoso kasi pera yung nawawala <laughs> sa akin. Mm. Ganun. And it's not money na binigay lang sa akin ng friends. It's money that I've earned from businesses and, alam mo yun, and from my freelancing, as in hard-earned money ko yun. So that's why it's, ano, alam mo yun, doble, triple yung hurt na tipong, ganun-ganun lang, di ba? pinaghirapan mo, mm. wala lang dahil sa trading kasi you're not doing everything right or may mali kang mindset, ganun. Okay. So, thanks, Jella, for sharing on that note. 
Um, Lisel, how does your state of mind affect your trading? Based sa uh, personal experience. I think similar with Jello when she mentioned yung sa towards the end when she mentioned about yung preserving the capital na sentiment. Because mm-hmm. I feel like yung state of mind or it's interchangeable. Sige, let's let's segue na yung mental health. It mm-hmm. I know it can affect your mental capital as well. So um, if you don't take care of your mental health then your state of mind will not be optimal to maintain or even preserve that that capital, yung actual money na ginagamit mm-hmm. for trading. So similar to her, like because of some emotions na hindi ko, I was not able to collaborate with, um, I lost like, like big amounts of money as well. Like because either I wanted to get it back kasi meron akong feeling na, oh, that was a failure. Like, you, you, mm-hmm. we talk about growth mindset and fixed mindset. I still have some of those in my brain na parang I failed at this trade. So parang may little voices sabi sa akin na if you don't recoup this, then that you're, that's that's you as a failure. So parang nag, nag-give in ka into those voices. Eh. So what happens is, yun, mauubos yung port mo talaga. So if you don't take care of your mental health, which is really the, the state of your mind, then ubus ang mental capital and ubus din yung actual physical capital. Actual capital. Mm-hmm. Yes, actual capital. And so I think it's it's good to parang segue na rin in this section na good mental health actually is not just about taking care of your of yourself, but if you have good mental health, ang nangyayari kasi doon is you develop skills such as your emotional flexibility or yung cognitive skills mo. So, nag increase yung resilience mo in, in, in times na you face that kind of stress. And for us traders, right, spe- specifically if you're full-time, na every day nakaharap ka sa charts and you're sitting down, you are continually facing quote unquote chronic stress. Now, as ma- as Madam Celeste mentioned in her trading psychology section sa-, sa TI, stress is not bad. It only mm-hmm. becomes bad if one is not prepared or does not have the toolbox to actually make that stress your friend. So that's what happens when when we do not focus on trading psychology first before actually investing in our technical analysis skills. Mm. Yeah. Like, yung ano no, ganda talaga yung mga sessions ni ano, ni Ma'am Celeste TI. Sobrang dami mong ano mapupulot doon, guys. So, yan sa mga sa mga hindi pa nakapag-set in, mga TI alumni na hindi na pa, hindi nakapag-set in sa <clears throat> sessions ni Ma'am Celeste. Ma'am Celeste, I suggest you set in. Right. Yeah. Um so yung next question ko dito is um some this is related with what you shared guys no yung yung typical situation ng mga traders when it comes to their state of mind or yung mental health nila so why are traders extremely prone to these issues okay, ba- bakit ito kasi yung napapansin ko inside not not just inside TR but um every time I talk with newbie traders and investors yung mga naging biglang naging crypto traders dahil sa bull run tapos ngayon parang they're very anxious and depressed so uh, what i notice is talagang merong parang shift in terms of how they think okay? and usually the shift is negative like for example if if dati parang yung yung approach nila or yung mindset nila pagdating sa pera is they're very risk more mataas yung risk appetite nila. Tapos biglang pag pinagdaanan nila yung typical journey ng trader of losses and, you know, failure, biglang nag-shift from that type of risk appetite, nagiging risk averse sila. So that's just an example, guys. Marami pang other examples na parang nagbabago yung state of mind ng trader. So, on my end, the way I see this is ganito. Lahat tayo aware of the market cycle, right? It's something that we discuss almost every FGD session natin. So market recognition, market cycle, um, the cycle moves from bull run to, 
to a bearish cycle, tapos magsa sideways, etc., etc. So ako, the way I see it is, itong cycles na to guys, pag nasa market ka kasi, you are experiencing every single type of emotion in one cycle, ah. in one cycle, may experience mo lahat ng types of emotion compared with, I mean, unlike sa ibang experiences mo, like sa work or, you know, outside of trading, hindi mo siya ma-experience in one go. Okay? Pero sa, ano kasi, uh, sa market, na-experience mo siya in one go. Like from euphoria, to fear, to greed. Then from greed, magda-drop yung, ano, diba? Magda-drop yung market. So, now you're experiencing uh, anxiety kasi akala mo, akit pa, tapos biglang bumagsak. So, you undergo this full cycle and you experience every type of emotion through the cycle and that is what you know what affects your mindset as traders so yun yung ano yun yung take ko on kung bakit tayo as traders we are very prone to these issues it's kumaga what i'm trying to say is it's a natural um experience or it's a natural effect of going through the market going through the cycle of the market So what about you Liz? Ano ba yung take mo dito sa question na to? I think that's true. I guess kasi parang yung point mo din Sir Jess is that um, a person usually experiences emotional cycles in in seasons or in periods. So the body hmm. has time to recover like from like okay, yes. sobrang saya ko. To, okay, chill tayo ng konti. I'm just sakto lang. Tapos, ay, medyo sad. I know I'm depressed. But, you're right. When you're training, and specifically for high-performing sports in general, ganun yung experience mo eh. Kasi yung, yung, yung for example, when you're participating in an Olympic event or something like that, right? My experience mo yung lahat in just a day or three days or one week. And every day, every time na isasalang mm. ka. So, similar with us na every day na may, may pinasok ang position and then, you're watching the position and then you feel that emotions and then on top of that um there is a pandemic going on around you so hindi lang yung stress on your trade or your yung stress yung normal stress na kila, normal stress level of a trader but also the um collective stress because as you mentioned the ba yung um The stock market is very connected to the human emotions. Hence, kaya meron mm-hmm. tayong market psychology as well. So, the stock market and our emotions, if they're interconnected, na feel natin isat isa. If the if the traders, investors are in panic, so hence you see a little bit of a taper of cash and stuff like that. So, I guess mm-hmm. in a general perspective, from my end, kaya kaya tayo mas extremely prone to these issues is because also if you think about it. Kung hindi okay yung state of state of mind mo and merong kang emotional attachment to the money that you are using to trade and invest, tas nakita mo bigla na lang negative 20 or negative 30, right? Nagkakaroon ka ng parang disconnection eh. Parang, oh my God, okay, that happened. So, there are a lot of thoughts na po pasok na dyan sa isip mo. Like, um, either... Uh, oh, magiging okay pa ba yung future ko nito? Marirecover ko pa ba to? Is the market gonna recover? I mean, even though you are aware of the market, market, cycle, market cycle, the emotions at that time is taking over. So mm-hmm. there are other thoughts na pumapasok sa utak mo dyan. And it could be uncertainty about the future or just trying to calm down yourself in the middle of it all or naisip mo yung mga past mistakes na ginawa mo and asking yourself, oh, na baktis ko naman to ah, I should have done it this way. The should haves and could haves and would haves. So this, this, all of these are coming into play. So hence why it's us traders are more prone to this kind of, um, I would say mental breakdown or mental mental health issues. You know, I think mm-hmm. we underestimate, I think once you become a trader, kasi di ba na mention mo sir, just na parang before they become a trader, before they dip themselves into the crypto market, parang mas taas na risk appetite, tas biglang, mm. kasi I think because before, hindi pa natin, hindi mo pa naiintindihan um, kung ano yung, what is the magnitude of your actions 
what what could be the magnitude of your action by clicking by clicking clicking a single button mm. ngayon na realize mo na right, that just, agree ako diyan na, na oh my gosh if, if i click buy and i put say a thousand dollars here there is a possibility na mawala to lahat and now you mm. fully understand that so <laughs> yon <laughs> Um, siguro on top of that, no, gusto ko lang din i-add yung idea na when you are a trader, it's very easy to compare your state with another trader. And I think it adds doon sa, parang nagiging fuel siya doon sa mga issues na experience mo. Like, for example, you are in a string of losses. Alam mo yun, aware ka, nakita mo sa journal mo. And then you see someone else na kasama mo, very successful, posting a lot of gains. So, Meron ka ng anxiety because of your own performance. Nagkakaroon ka pa ng parang envy because of someone okay. else's. And yung combination na yun, napaka-deadly nun eh. Pagdating sa mental health. That's right. That's correct. Mm. That's, so, uh, yeah. um, sige, uh, Liz, anything to add on that? Uh, no, I totally agree with that. Kasi hindi lang, I was gonna say na the layer of the emotions that we have, if we think na isa lang yun, so I learned this from my therapist when she started to teach me ways on how to label my emotions. And mm-hmm. if you think that you're just feeling anger right now, hindi lang, hindi lang yan anger. So the layer is makapal. And that can be interconnected with just like what you mentioned. There could be like um, a subconscious mindset of you comparing your performance with other people. There could be a subconscious mm-hmm. voice in your head saying, you'll never be good enough. There is a, sub- there is a, sub- a subconscious um childhood trauma that was not addressed kasi, you know, your parents were always in a chaotic um, environment. So now, ikaw, tinatry mo maging calm and collected trader, pero if there's no chaos, right, like you're seeking that chaos and now there's chaos, this is stress ka. So it's like that cycle. So yun lang, okay. I just wanted to add that na it's a deep, deep layer and that's, hence, it's really important na maging self-aware and learn about mental health kasi, Yes, it's, you know, there are things that can be simple, but that doesn't mean it's easy. So, mm-hmm. mental health is simple, but it's not easy. <laughs> Parang trading, no? Simple but not easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ayun. Uh, Jella, anything to add on this, ano, on this yeah. question? Um, yeah, why are traders extremely prone to these issues? Um, I think both Cosmos and Liz, no? I agree, totally agree to everything that you've said and one of the things that came into mind now why we are prone talaga to strong destructive emotions like depression fear greed no so basically because we are human no we are made to feel we are mm. built to detect danger through feeling and we are built to survive no parang that's our design yun yung ano natin parang framework of being human. Mm-hmm. And if our money, which we have attached no, as our security is on the line when we are trading, then hindi ba it would make sense Now we would feel what even yung mga cavemen felt before as they fight for their survival. No? Yung fear against predators, ganyan. Yung greed as they hunt for food or fight with other tribes or nations, ganyan. And also yung, yung feeling that one thing to belong, to be accepted. Hindi ba parang primal instinct siya, which can help mm-hmm. us survive, right? So now, no, um, as traders, I think we can become better when we accept this fact that feeling is actually primal or feeling is actually part of our design. You know, being able to, to feel or experience fear, greed, depression, ganyan. But I think when we accept na, okay, I'm human, ganyan. Tao lang ako. Now, anong gagawin ko? <laughs> right? So, I don't think kasi na um, yung feeling of fear or greed should be taken negatively. Or, alam mo yun, we should try to fight it or not feel it. But, you know, I remember this session with Boss Celeste din, yung parang emotions are actually uh, ang tawag smoke to a fire. So, it means that when you are feeling something, when you are feeling fearful, when you are feeling greedy, there must be a reason why. Mm. 
So it's not about fighting the emotions. It's about managing your emotions and going to the root. Mm. But yun po yung nafe-feel ko. Ganyan. Mm. Especially if, kung kunwari yun nga, since you guys have mentioned now, we go through different cycles in the market. Right? And para, bakit parang um, I don't feel confident. Ganon. So that's why it's really good to to think about yo, ano ba yung root? Why am I feeling this way? And especially if, for example, you're fearful, no, maybe that's because, alam mo, hindi ka confident sa system mo. Right? That can mm-hmm. be one of the reasons why. So there. Ako, yung experience ko kasi, no, as someone na uh, ang daming nagpapakonsult sa akin every month inside PR, ang napapansin ko is, sa lahat ng consultations that I did, every time I talk about the problem of the trader, like, kasi, typically, nagpapakonsult kasi talo, losing streak, ganito, ganyan, ba? Diba? Natitrim down ko lang siya always into three main causes. So, three root causes. Number one, the pressure to earn. Okay? So, yung pressure, nakikita ka, that's something that every one of us can relate with, right? Lalo na pag nagsisimula tayo and then, nalaman ng family natin or or ng makasamahan natin. Oy, trader ka pala. So, 'di ba? Parang nagkakaroon agad ng automatic pressure na you self-inflict yourself na dapat kikita ako kasi trader ako. So that's one. Number two, wrong expectations. So, eto din, very common, you expect yourself to perform really well kasi may alam ka na pero hindi mo na-realize na yung fury or yung knowledge is not enough for you to have consistent performance. So that's number two. And then number three, ito, um, ito yung medyo technical side which is an inconsistent or ineffective process. So lahat yan guys, lahat ng nagpa-consult sa akin ever since I became part of ZFT, nandyan lang always sa tatlo na yan yung problem ng trader. Pressure to earn, wrong expectations, or an inconsistent and ineffective process. It doesn't matter ano yung pinapa-consult nila, kung talo sila, panalo, um, break even, or whatsoever. It all boils down to this three. Kaya nagustuhan ko yung sabi ni Jella at ni Lizel na when we talk about these issues sa trading natin, usually there is a deeper problem. Okay? Symptoms lang sila. Meron silang deeper problem. And most of the time, yung mga problems na yon, they are, you know, unrelated to trading. Pero kahit unrelated sila to trading, it directly affects your trading. So, ayan. Yes. Let's And proceed like to... Ah, yes. Sige. Cosmos. If, for example, ako, sige, magtatawag <laughs> sa'yo. Since oh, sure, sure. Sige. Yeah, um, no, kasi uh, a question that comes to mind right now sa akin is, okay, so since these are the three things that you think na talagang root cause of the problem of yun nga, um, different traders na nagko-consult sa'yo, now, ano yung tingin mo na As in, siguro kahit very briefly lang na solution or like paano mm-hmm. dapat na-address yung tatlong problem or issues na ganun. Yeah. Um, ito, ito nga yung nakakatawa eh. Kasi kaya ako okay lang ako mag accept ng mga consultations from traders. Kasi meron akong template. May script na ako sa utak ko na kahit ano pa yung sabihin mo, ito lang yung solusyon. <laughs> so, kunwari, dito sa pressure to earn, no? Um, di- ito, medyo maselan to. Kasi, um, yung pressure to earn, usually, it's it's coming from you most of the time. Pero, yung pressure na yun, kahit galing yun sa'yo, kahit ini-inflict mo sa sarili mo, it's triggered by someone else outside. Which is usually family. Um, sa mga nagpapakonsult sa akin, siguro mga 80% dahil sa parents nila. Okay? Kasi yun, nalalaman na trader sila. So, the best way to address, number one, is really to open up. To talk with those people or those parties whom you believe na nagiging trigger doon sa pressure na yun. Kasi if you address it by yourself lang, uh, medyo mahirap siya. So, that's the first step. And then the second step, of course, is syempre, may, may tinatawag tayong good pressure at bad pressure, di ba? So, how do you convert bad pressure to good pressure? The only way for you to do that is to develop the skills. If you have the skills, yung pressure na yon na 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 face mo every day while you are in the markets, you can convert that into good pressure. Kasi confident ka sa sarili mo na meron akong skills, meron akong risk management, okay yung system ko. So, if I will pressure myself to earn, then let's do it. Kasi nandito naman yung skills eh. 
Okay, so that's for number one. Siyempre, marami pa yan, pero yun yung parang pinaka-basic way of addressing it. Yung sa number two naman, wrong expectations. Ito kasi guys, no? Um, simple lang naman to. If you have wrong expectations, know what are the right expectations. Ganun lang naman siya. Papasok ka sa trading expectation mo, first year, the doble agad yung pera mo. So obviously, that's not a good way to approach your first year of trading. Kasi first year, ang focus mo dapat dyan is system development, backtesting, you know, process-oriented activities. So, dapat ma-align lang yung expectations mo. And the best way to do that, guys, is to talk to someone na pinagdaanan na, na matagal na sa market para masabi niya sa'yo na, okay, first year ko, ito yung pinagdaanan ko. So, more or less, parang ganyan din pagdadaanan mo. So, don't expect na ganito ganyan agad. Then, syempre, number three, inconsistent and in- ineffective process. Well, there's no other way outside of this or to deal with this except to develop your own process. Okay, focus on developing your playbook, your system, studying the indicators, price action. So, eto, dito papasok yung own diligence mo, yung commitment mo to learn the craft without expecting anything and without, you know, self-inflicting pressure sa sarili mo. So, yun. That, that's the way I... Um, address itong tatlong bagay na to. Grabe. Yun na yun. <laughs> yes, yung sagot na <laughs> Sa mga ano, no? Sa mga gustong mag-coach, especially sa mga TL na, <laughs> sa mga TL natin dito, alam nyo na. Alam yeah. na natin yung template natin. <laughs> yeah, gan- gan- ganun lang talaga yung yung template, to be honest. Ang, ang a suggestion ko lang din, guys, ah, when when you are providing advice to people, make sure na yung advice na yon is something that you can really give. Okay, I, I'm not saying na parang pag talunan ka, hindi ka pwede magbigay ng advice. Hindi ganon. Parang make sure that you are coming from a healthy state of mind. Kasi if if ikaw mismo, hindi healthy yung mindset mo, and then you're giving advice to someone, chances are, yung advice mo na yon is mababahiran siya ng sarili mong biases and sarili mong struggle, which in the long run, hindi siya maging effective. So, yun yung ano. Yun lang yung ano ko dyan, uh, parang disclaimer. Alright? Sige. Ano, sir, Sige. Uh-huh. Cosmos ito, si, si Yuri may mention siya na parang parang deeper pa daw talaga siguro. Ayun, yun na. I think that's it. Parang ito deeper na ba? Pa issue, yeah. So how to ba identify? And... Yes, yes. Sige. I, sige, let's jump into it para we can also talk about ano ba talaga yung root what's the root for most people? Now, disclaimer, napunta na to sa disclaimer naman sa chat na we're not psychologists and we're not therapists. Mm. But these are just mainly from like personal experiences, what we have learned, and etc. etc. So, um, I think sa, di ba, dun sa trading psychology courses natin or um, whenever we have a session with Coach Celeste, she always talks about um recognizing or parang recognize parang or being aware of your triggers or parang that can be physiological so ano nararamdaman mo physically or mentally or emotionally right and yung when we talk about breakdown kasi um that that can vary from one person to another so mm-hmm. for some people yung when they feel like magkaka-breakdown sila, it's really p- physical. Like, I know someone sasabihin talaga na nahihilo sila, sumasakit yung chan nila, ganyan. Tapos, uh, nahihirapan silang huminga and nagsishake sila. So, those are symptoms of of panic attacks. For some people, hindi mo makikita. Like, they actually smiling and they can put like a face on and they can look put together. Pero, deep inside, you know, they have they have low energy, may fatigue silang nararamdaman, or they really, they they don't have any interest na in what they're doing. Parang, okay, another trading day, whatever. Parang, sige, let's watch list. Uh, okay, sige. Parang, parang may, konting, may, may konti ng apathy or something like that. So, it's all different. But, obviously, mm-hmm. I think what's really important is for you to identify kung ano yung sayo. So the practice is really <laughs> observation. Like it, it can be as 
boring as that, but observation talaga is really a, a, the, the first thing that one should do when you're trying to identify signs and symptoms na mm-hmm. you're, you're leading there. So, ako, for example, for me personally, I when I'm starting to, not really a mental breakdown, but in the past, when I had mental breakdowns, kasi mental breakdown is mahabay. Like, the difference mm-hmm. between anxiety attack and panic attack is just the time period. So, pag mayroon ka anxiety attack, it's a one-time or two-time event. Pero pag lagi na siyang matagal or it, it consistently happens, then it becomes a mental breakdown to the point na I cannot get out of bed, umaabsent na ako sa work, I cannot perform um, sa trading ko, or basta I, I'm, not function, I'm not a functioning human being. Ganun. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. before, when I had those experiences, I, I identified na yung signs and symptoms for me was one, I feel like I just want to isolate. I don't want to talk to people. I want to be alone. And then physically, like, mabigat yung dibdib ko. I cannot breathe properly. Parang feeling ko minsan may sumasakal sa akin or ganyan. Or sometimes it can be really subtle. Like, bigla na lang akong, bigla na lang akong mafeeling na parang, parang bakit pagod na pagod ako eh, 9 a.m. pa lang. So, those were all the symptoms and signs that I that I found. How about you guys? Nagkaroon na ba kayo ng, ng ganong symptoms? Jella mo na. Yeah, uh, actually, yun nga. Eh. Uh, after this question, I was going to ask Sana, parang was there a time that you felt stuck or lost? Parang you lost that sense of meaning or purpose sa life nyo. And you alam mo yun, how did you overcome it. But sige, let's go sa symptoms muna. Or like how to identify yung signs ng mental breakdown and what yung mga triggers. Kanyan. Personally, for me, um, symptoms of it actually is something na hindi mo manonotice agad. Ganon. Until it becomes a habit na tipong, okay, sleeping sleeping so much. Mm-hmm. Kanyan, ganon. And then, hindi ko makain ng maayos or like um, I could go a day na nakakalimutan kong kumain yung mga ganun. And then at the same time um, since I can't notice those signs for myself no, um, I'm just really thankful for people who remind you na or who notice na parang may mali <laughs> or parang okay ka lang ba yung ganun. So that's why it's really hard to notice for yourself and it's really hard to and it's really important to have someone who you can be accountable with, ganyan, and people who really cares about you to actually remind mm. you and actually sabi, na, sasabihin straight up sa face mo na may mali, ganyan, or you have to change. Mm. So there, for me, it's really about looking to other people, you know, for you to help yourself then to notice the mm. signs. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Na ano dun sa kanina no yung yung sinabi ni Liz about self observation. Alam niyo ba guys, may mga traders parang sa trading desk nila, meron silang mirror wherein they can see themselves. Like big a big mirror para makita nila yung sarili nila while trading. Uh, familiar ka yung round anong tawag diyan? Concave mirror ba yan? Yung parang uso sa mga grocery stores. Yes. Kung tiningnan mo siya, parang nakikita mo lahat ng surroundings. Yes. Yung sa room na yon. Para yun, na may mga ibang top lifters. <laughs> oh, yun, yun, para mak- makita mo yung mga nagsha-shuffle. So, may mga ibang trading, tra- may mga ibang traders guys, sa, sa trading desk nila, may ganun sila. Kasi, they really want to like physically observe themselves kung meron na silang parang um, physical manifestations of anxiety or breakdown. Yung iba naman, ang ginagawa, they they really record their trading day. Okay? Um, if you watch yung mga YouTuber traders, like si Warrior Trading, um, si Money Growers, ayan. Isa sa mga activities na ginagaw nila, nire-record nila. Yung screen nila, yung parang may ano sila, may setup or in, may sa webcam nila, naka-record din siya. Tapos at the end of the trading day, i-review nila yung mga recordings na yun. So do- dual purpose na siya. I-review nila yung ano yung ginagaw nila as far as execution is concerned. And at the same time, yung yung habits nila, yung parang mannerisms nila while they are trading. Okay? So... Yeah. And, you know, I... Gusto think, yung subukan. 
Yes, actually that, that now that you mentioned, I think that's a very good hack. Kasi the thing is, good din sinasabi ni Jella that that it's good that we have people or community. We'll ta- we'll tackle about that on how we can deal with depression, anxiety and mental breakdown later on. But the first key talaga is it it starts with you pa rin. Like you really mm-hmm. have you parang ito eh. Um Port snaps are is glamorous, you know, like of telling people I'm a trader is glamorous. All that stuff is glamorous. But the mm-hmm. inner work and the work that they do not see behind the desk is boring and menial. And that's what matters first. So that means actually, sorry for my French, sucking it up and having the intention to observe yourself. Like you really have to put in the work. It's mm-hmm. it's hard and, and can be really painful sometimes. But it is necessary because the best thing to do when you're feeling like something is not right is to check out yourself. Diba? Like, don't sit on it. Don't push it down. Don't ignore it because mm. you're basically just saying to your emotions, I do not want to cooperate with you. But if mm. you actually get into it, like look yourself in the mirror, if that is the one trigger for you to actually do it the, or if it's writing, do those things because... When you do that, you're trying to uncover the truth about yourself and the truth shall set you free. And it's not an easy one. It can be fain- painful for some people. But I remember Dr. Caroline Leaf, who is a neuro uh, scientist, she wrote a book called Switch mm-hmm. on Your Brain. And she said, Sabi niya dun, the minute kasi na you are aware of something, that thing, if it's not, if it's negative, right? Or whatever it is, it gets weakened. So if it's a negative habit, negative thinking, negative toxic toxic mentality, the more that you are aware about it, you put in the work to be aware about it, you talk about it, it is weakened mm-hmm. and then it is changeable. So for me when I heard that I was like, wow, this Ganda is the na. one. Why people actually go to therapy some don't go to therapy or Um, seek for consultation with mentors or people with wisdom or they talk to their pastors, right? Because the moment it is exposed into the light, <laughs> diba? let's put a biblical context into this, the moment it is, it is exposed into the light, then the darkness cannot overcome. So mm-hmm. you really have to talk about it. And the first step is for you to recognize, observe yourself, label your emotions, label what you're feeling right now and acknowledge kasi tayong mga Pinoy, I realize na kapag tinanong mo, how are you feeling today? Right? Ito, nadala ko siya sa, hanggang ngayon, nadadala ko pa rin siya and I'm starting to practice it in a different manner now. When someone asks me if I'm okay and I know at that point I'm not feeling okay, ang initial response natin, okay lang ako. I'm okay. Okay lang ako. Kahit na nangangatog ka na, kahit na negative 50% na yung port mo, okay ka lang. Oh, okay lang. <laughs> Pero kasi the moment you say that, you're teaching your body and mind na okay lang yun. So then the next time it happens, eh okay lang pala eh to lose and masaktan. So okay lang, magpasakit na lang tayo all the time. But if you actually acknowledge that feeling and say, actually, I'm not okay. I I experienced this loss. It's painful. <laughs> How do I deal with this? That's the first step talaga before you can actually go with the other things like you know find your happy triggers etc etc this yes. is the first step mm. yeah agree ako doon no? yung acknowledgement and yung opening up pero et- eto lang yung parang siguro challenge for many of us kasi napapansin ko it's it's very difficult to open up why do you think people especially traders no they they hesitate to open up most of the time um siguro from jela bakit kaya Yeah, why do people hesitate to open up most of the time? I think one of the reasons there, and this is something that I can relate to, kaya, um, I don't like, ako personally, I don't really like yung parang me being able to be, or this is something that I struggle with, kasi, especially with my relationships, you know, with friends, with my family, ganyan. You know, I don't like being vulnerable. Kasi, You know, in retrospect, I'm thinking, I'm afraid of judgment. So that's why it's really important, you know, to be able to look for those people who 
you can be open to. Tipong, you know you won't judge. You know that they won't judge you and they would look at you na alam mo yon, you're human also. You struggle mm. with the same things as me. Ganyan. Kasi when, you know, when yung reaction kasi natin when people are sharing something about their, alam mo yun, mga problems in life, ganyan, and then we get to judge them, that's when they close off, di ba? And that's the same thing, I think, with, alam mo yun, um, kids with their parents, ganyan, or yung mga mag-asawa, or any relationships na, we close our doors if we feel judged, or if we don't feel like, okay, this is not a safe space for me. Or para hmm. hindi na tayo mag-away, sige, I'll just close off, alam mo yun. So, parang, It doesn't solve the problem, you know. It's still there, but then, ano siya? Parang temporary fix lang. Na okay, we're not mm. fighting or alam mo yon. Um, everything's fine. You're pretending that it's everything's fine, but then deep inside, alam mo yon. Um, there's this problem, no? Or there's this something na nag uh, nagbabother sa heart mo na you're not sharing. Yeah, and mm. Nash here is saying some people just don't know how. They want to, but they yes. don't know. Correct. Yeah. Agree with that. Yeah. Kasi wala so silang this, tools um, eh. Walang tools. Or hindi na-introduce yon sa educational system or sa mm-hmm. family life. Right. To be open. Ganyan. Yes. Kaya it, ito, it all boils down na naman sa ano, no? <laughs> Dahil sabihin ko na naman, para ako silang plaka, to our childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. hindi, hindi yan, ano, y- y- yung childhood, uh, ano ba tawag dyan? Parang childhood trauma or inner child natin kung tawagin ng mga psychologist. Mm-hmm. Parang it's really a very big factor sa trading mo, sa career mo. Kasi every time you experience stress or yung mga high conflict, high stress moments, magre-revert always yung mind mo to that inner child. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. So, you, know, so you notice some people... They're very successful in terms of metrics ng, say, for example, um, Forbes, Forbes 30 under 30, every, eh, merong, na-reach na lahat ng financial metrics, travel the hmm. world, has the most beautiful wife, has two golden retrievers, twins, whatever that is, that picture. But then, when you revisit their home life and merong, for example, like, conflict with the wife or conflict with a business partner um they they struggle they struggle handling yung confrontation or whatever mm-hmm. whatever form it is so it all boils down to kasi na mirror na mirror pa rin nila how their parents handled conflict or vulnerability when they were young and in in an asian culture it's very common sa atin na if it's The, 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 the commonality of money and mental health is this. In most Asian cultures, it's never talked about at home. When you say, di ba, nung bata ka, we never talk about money. We never talk about debt. We never, and we never talk about mental health kasi ipush mo lang yan. Kaya mo yan. Di mo, di mo kami mm-hmm. kailangan. Or kung kaya mo pa yan, kung di mo na kaya, saka lang kami magsistep in. Ganun kasi yung mentality. And it's not their fault because that's how their generation survived, you know, their generation. But the thing mm-hmm. is, our generation is, is, has evolved. And that's normal. That's part of the human cycle. And grateful, you know, we, we should be grateful that we have these tools already and we know about these things already, which makes it hard. Kasi di ba sabi nga nila, when you know more about things, then actually, it's it's harder to approach relationships and money because now you understand more about yourself. So now you know what that are the things that you should not do and, do and should be doing. Pero because before, nung hindi mo pa alam yung mga bagay na yun, you think it's just fine up until shit hits the fan and you, you are suffering the repercussions. Mm. So, Ngayon ko lang yun na ano no na na realize yung grabe pala yung yung culture na nakasanayan natin as Filipinos when it comes to failure and losses. Like nung minention mo kanila Liz about um talking about yung pag nagfail or may losses sa family ganun. Parang I realize never wala akong memory of wala akong very clear memory na pinag-usapan namin yung losses and failure. Ewan ko kayo ba guys? Like, try to recall. 
uh, with your family, with your friends, or even with your, you know, with your, ano ba, your brothers and sisters, meron bang times na talagang nag-sit down kayo at pinag-usapan nyo yung failure and losses? No. Kasi most of the time, <laughs> di ba parang most of the time, parang when we are in that, parang akiramdaman na lang. Di ba? Yeah. Okay, sige. Tag- yeah. Naghirap tayo. Kayanin natin to Pero hindi natin siya pinag-usapan. Yeah. Pero sarili-sarili. Okay. Sarili. Oh, sinasarili natin. Oh. Or, Tapos parang or, ang, ang... Sige, sige. Go. No, no. I was just gonna say na, for example, may nag-away sa family. Let's say, magkapatid. Ganyan, right? The the thing that would your parents or our parents would usually say na magbati na kayo, ganyan. And then, alam mo yun, just say, pretend like nothing, nothing happened. Yes. Walang <laughs> ano yung issue, ganyan, what are we gonna do next time? Hindi tayo ganyan. And I would understand siguro why, ganyan, siguro one of the reasons there or is because, alam mo yun, um, our parents or like yung guardians natin or anyone else na older sa natin, they were not trained to handle those kinds of situations. Ano bang dapat mm-hmm. gawin in conflict? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And yung, yung pagiging ganun natin, nadadala natin siya sa trading natin. Like, unconsciously. Ang, ang nakakatakot pa doon, no? Like, um, if you're a trader, everyday harapin mo yung mga demons mo. Like, the, uh, demons, your, your inner child, yung mga tinatakasan mo before. Like, kasi successful ka sa career mo or sa, sa education mo. So, pagdating mo sa trading, harap at harapin mo sila. So, if, if you don't know how to, number one, acknowledge it, and you don't know, number two, how to open up, hindi hindi ka makakawala doon. So, parang yung yung breakdown, mental breakdown and ano yun, yung hindi ka maka-break sa resistance mo, it will always be a cycle. Yes, agree. I totally agree. And I guess siguro rin I just want to add na one of the reasons why maybe our culture has not really talked about emotions kasi parang na-identify natin yung emotion, yung mga negative emotions to to failure eh. Kasi mapapansin mm. nyo, kapag someone, kapag ikaw nasa top 10 ka, ang nanay mo magpapapansit. Lahat ng kapitbahay invited. <laughs> parang, you know, parang that is, so when everyone is happy and celebrating, that is, that is success. Therefore, that is the fact of the moment. Pero, kapag meron kang negative emotion or meron kang, yeah, failure in life, hindi natin siya pag-uusapan kasi that means, that means it is a failure at that, at that moment. It is a fact. But the thing is, emotions and feelings are not facts. You know, um, you can feel like, you know, you're not worth anything at the moment or you can even feel like you know i am the sum total of human failure in the entire universe and kahit na ganun ka powerful yung feeling na yun it does not make it true hindi siya that's not that's not that's not the reality your feelings are not facts it's just a data i mean i know it's easy to say but that's 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 technically what we're trying to um, share with you guys when when we talk about mental health education the reason why you want to learn more about this and you want to learn more about yourself is because you want to be more of like an observer and an advocate of yourself hindi a judger kasi when you're coming from a point of being curious and you're observing it's easier to digest what mm-hmm. is happening and actually form an action plan or kahit na taking one breath at a time can be a lot easier if we're coming from a sense of compassion and curiosity rather than judging na success, mm-hmm. failure, you're angry, therefore you are anger or you're fearful, therefore you are fear. Like, doesn't help. You have to like detach yourself from that and actually look at it from a different perspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Jella, anything to add to that? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I completely agree with Liz. Sobrang, um, the change has to start with us, you know. Um, it's something na I think we cannot control. Talaga. Siyempre, mm-hmm. di ba, it's frustrating at first. Parang, bakit ganito yung mag-uupo? Ganyan, di ba? Bakit ganito yung ano, family ko and everything? And that's something na we can't change. Right, mm-hmm. and if we focus more on things that we can't change, the more that we become frustrated and stressed, in the end, but then 
if we focus kasi on things that we can control, which is how do we respond knowing that this is what we've learned, di ba? Mm-hmm. That's when we realize na, okay, this is not something that I want my kids to experience. Alam mo yun? And I know this is gonna be hard, especially sa generation natin. And it this would definitely take effort. But then, at least, it will break the cycle na, alam mo yun, yung emotional scars, ganyan and everything. So, there. Okay. So, thank you guys for sharing those um, very wonderful insights. So, ngayon, let's let's now wrap it up, no? Kasi, um, we talk about mental health and yung mga effects nito sa trading natin. So, maybe tapusin natin yung action plan natin. So, dealing with inner resistances and breakdowns. Napag-usapan na natin yung first two, so which is acknowledging it. And then, sabi natin, it, it would help if we open up. After opening up, what do you think, guys, is yung mga next steps na kailangan natin gawin to address this? Any ideas? Or maybe sa audience natin, baka may mga ano kayo, may mga insights din kayo. You can share sa chat if you want. Kasi parang, ku- parang kulang to eh. Diba? Parang hindi enough na nag-open up ka lang. So what what yeah. comes after opening up? Um, how can I add something there? Yeah, sure. Sige. So, so yung opening, I think from, for the, the opening up, well, our listeners are also like um, recollecting their thoughts and share it with us. Um, I read this book called um, Lost Connections by Johan Harry. So basically, he is the guy who created the Johan Harry model. So mm-hmm. um, we will not talk about that. Pero basically, the book talks about why people are depressed right now and how to find hope that, that definitely that yung yan yung subtitle but mm. yung yung basically yung pinaka premise lang nung book in a nutshell is that um there are nine reasons why people feel depression and anxiety or mental breakdowns and it all boils down to disconnection so disconnection from um a meaningful work or disconnection from meaningful values ganyan pero yung tumatak sa akin dito is the disconnection from other people kasi um our as time you know as we have observed in this during the pandemic um some people found out na actually you know what i have to connect to people more because virtual na lang lahat and stuff like that but for some people they did not think the same way so the, re- the what happened is that they are battling their demons alone and one of the reasons why people feel depressed and, and anxious is when you feel really lonely and you feel like Um, you are helpless and you cannot get out of that situation. And when Johan Harry mentioned that one of the reasons why you are depressed or anxious is because you are disconnected from other people, I realized na kaya tayo dito sa tribe, I don't know I, if you feel the same, kaya ako sobrang grateful for this community is because um, you guys help me s- keep sane. You know, like I'm connected to people who share the same values. And If you want to um, take care of your mental health, make sure that you are connected to people who shares your values, who can genuinely and want to genuinely support you. And most importantly, you will have the desire to help them in the future or when you're already in a better position or in a better shape. So mm-hmm. I guess I would say, yeah, so definitely connect. And connect to other people or maybe for some people who are they thinking they're losing their passion already because that is one of the reasons why um yung mga nasa isang company na for five years to seven years they resign and then when they resign the reason why they resign is because depressed now so work or i don't feel any joy here anymore mm. it's because they they got disconnected from meaningful values so if you feel like what you're doing right now is not something that you genuinely want to pursue or feeling mo hindi purposeful and materialistic na lang yung hinahabol mo, then maybe it's time for you to connect to what gives your life value again. So for some people, it can be as easy like, you know, just dancing again. Or mm-hmm. don't just, diba, like we always say na, 
when we're trading, there is a, a, always a bigger why why you're trading. So maybe when you feel like you're losing your passion in through trading or so work, then reconnect to that meaningful value or revisit your why. Mm. Yon. Ganda, ganda. Thank you, Liz, for that. Um, what about Jella? Anything to add dito sa ating game plan of dealing with these things? Right. Um, actually, I wanted to go back no, with what Boss Tish said sa kanya. And one of the things na nag, na, na-struck ako or parang impression for me uh, was that, yun nga, um, like him, no, like I think all of us here in the Zoom room, we've all felt that feeling of, alam mo yun, parang, parang may kulang, ganun, yung void. Mm. Right? And yun din yung sinabi dito ni Ish. Parang he really, feel, he really felt lost and don't know what to do. Right? And uh, I could share also yung, yung feeling or that um, experience of being, alam mo yun, in that state of, okay, saan ako pumunta? Anong purpose ko? Ganyan. So, um, siguro, in terms of game plan of like, how do we address this? Siguro, I think, ako kasi personally yun nga, I've been sharing kanina na I, had the, I have a struggle with, alam mo yun, vulnerability and everything. But siguro, I would take this time na lang to actually share yung journey or like how I address uh, this kind of problem. And I think this is really timely, no? yung how we deal with inner resistances and breakdowns, ganyan. So, um, uh, kasi, and, and actually, uh, before I, I, I tell my story, I just, I just wanna say na super thankful for everyone who answered yung uh, query or yung uh, linagay ni Boss Ish sa consultation tax. Kasi, mm. alam mo yun, it really opened the doors for everyone na, hey, you can be vulnerable. This yes. Is this. <laughs> no, and, and yun, we, everyone realized na, okay, um, everyone has their own battles. Everyone mm-hmm. faces their own struggles. Kaya, kaya, yun talaga, super thankful for everyone for sharing their story. And ako, personally, I really wanted to to reply. But then, nag-PM na lang ako kay, ano, kay Boss Ish no, when he shared something. Ganyan. But then, mm-hmm. okay, how I dealt with my own um, breakdown or inner resistance. So, ako, uh, growing up, yun nga, I was really insecure and I would attach my worth talaga sa grades, sa honors, kanyan. But then, every time, no, parang I would really feel that void. Alam mo yun, parang, parang may kulang, ganyan. And I really attached my meaning, my purpose sa, alam mo yun, sa being valedictorian, ganyan, being the best in school, ganyan. And alam mo yun, I really attach, I know that a lot of you guys here can also relate to when we attach our meaning, our purpose to, alam mo yun, pleasing other people parang our parents, no, our, our friends, ganyan. So yun, um, ganun ako before na I attached yung meaning, purpose, and alam mo yun, <laughs> ganun talaga parang. Um, and then, when I felt na parang be enough yun, ganyan, I attached my meaning, ganyan, my purpose to money, na parang I have to make a lot of money, ganyan, I have to mm. be a billionaire, I have to have this house and everything. Kapag meron na ako nun, I'll be happy, I'll be fulfilled, alam mo yun, I'll feel na I've had it all, ganyan. Right? But then, that's what I did, na parang I really just studied, ganyan, everything that I need to know to make money, that's why I went into trading, ganyan. And that's also why I work so hard, and I learned so many money-making skills, but then, at the end of the day, Parang, what is it all for? I, mean, I still felt that void. I still felt mm-hmm. depressed. I'm still in that same zone na, okay, parang hindi ito yung, ano, hindi ito yung purpose, hindi ito yung meaning ko. Ganyan. And at the same time, you know, um, I know that a lot of us can also relate to when I say na, um, ako, I've attached myself or my meaning to wrong relationships. Alam niyo yung sa movies, yung you complete me, mga ganon. Thinking that, mm-hmm that will make me happy. Pero, bakit andan pa rin yung void, right? Na parang, ano ba to? So, so uh, what's my purpose? What's my meaning? Diba? Bakit I still feel that void? Why do I still feel depressed? Kanyan. So, that's when I realized na, okay, so, ano yung meaning sa life natin? Ganyan? Purpose? Ganyan? How do we become really happy? And that's what I really can relate to what Boss Ish said. 
nung sinabi niya to mm. na parang wow I'm not alone ganon that's what I felt no and I know that's what all of us here felt right and there was a time talaga na yun I I I had depression and anxiety as in there as in it there was a time in my life na na I had to go to therapy I had to consult psychiatrist about it Ganyan. And during those dark times in my life, I was thinking, kaya ko to. And people will tell you when you, when they tell you about yung mga ganong bagay, they will tell you, kaya mo yan. Kaya mo yan. Mm. Ganyan. But then, you know what? That's the worst advice that you can give to someone who's struggling. Diba? When yes, you say those exactly. three words, kaya mo yan. Diba? Parang, grabe talaga. I mean, that's the easiest, the easiest na pwede mong sabihin sa someone who's struggling. Kaya mo yan. No? But in reality, di natin kaya. Right, and mm-hmm. I realized, di ko kaya. And I realized also that there is power and truth to admitting na hindi natin kaya, di ko kaya. I need someone else, or I need something else. And something that I realized as well during those dark times in my life, na parang if nothing on this earth can ever satisfy or ever fulfill us, give us meaning, or alam mo yon, give us that sense of purpose, yung sense of Basta that peace, ganyan, di ba? If mm. we can't find it here on earth or in anything that we could ever have here on earth, na parang it makes sense for me na we are not made for mm. this temporary earth. There is so much more than, alam mo yun, money. There is so much more than, sa, alam mo yun, when we are gaining money from trading. You know, that's when I realized na, okay, Oo nga, no? If nothing on this earth talaga can give me that meaning, then ibig sabihin, yung sense of purpose is not here. Yes. Yeah? So, that's why, so that's why I always go back to that analogy na, for example, diba? Uh, for example, let's say, meron akong bagong gadget. Ayan. Di mo alam kung paano gamitin, basta binigyan lang kita ng bagong gadget. Ganyan. Tapos, may mga features siya, or for example, may sira. Diba? Hindi mo alam how it works. Ganyan. Now, how do you fix it? If, for example, merong, basta, like, contraption, ganyan, binigay ko sa harap mo, right? Mm. And what do we usually do? Diba dapat, we go back to the inventor, or we go back na, sinong gumawa nito, ganyan, ano ang ginagawa niyan, right? And we always go back to the manual. Like, for example, diba, may binibili kayong um, gadgets, or may binibili kayong, let's say, um, furniture from Ikea, ganyan, diba? You always go back to the manual. Okay, paano ba to? How do we fix this, right? So that's why, Mm. That's why we always go back to our manual. And when I realized this, and when I, alam mo yun, it opened my eyes talaga na even if I consulted psychiatrist, you know, I went to different people, I shared to people who are really close to me. It was really when I surrendered everything to him na parang, that's when I lo- that's when I found that meaning na parang, okay, grabe Lord, you, you have shown me that I am meant for so much more. Ganyan. And that's when I realized na, alam mo yun, okay, this is the peace na binibigay mo sa akin beyond understanding. Kasi you know na yung purpose ko is more than whatever it is na nandito mm-hmm. sa earth. So there. And also one thing then na I'd like um, Ish and everyone else to know is that relationships talaga are God's extension of love and grace. So that's why, you know, it's, it's, it's good to really open up to people you trust Kasi, um they can be extensions of you know yung peace and understanding mm-hmm. so there so that's a so for me you know ultimately ah, syempre, ako lang naman to. this is how i see it this is how i see the situation you know mm-hmm. uh, it could be different from all of you guys no i know that maybe some of you may not agree with me but this is the only thing na nakikita kong solution Yun, to feel that void, to feel that um, um, depression, ganyan, that that being in that state of hindi mo alam where to go. So, there. Liz, ikaw. <laughs> Anything? Sabi like... nakakaliyap na kinalibutan ako dun sa sinishare ni Jella. Kasi parang ganun din talaga yung naging realizations ko all throughout my life. Pero, mm-hmm. ayun nga. Yeah. Uh, Liz, do you have anything to add to that? No, complex. I feel like that's what happens when God um, 
<laughs> when when <laughs> when God reminds his children who is their father, diba? Kasi that that's what happens. So I guess for people here who are parang siguro you're thinking uh this Christian faith is not for me yet like I'm I'm trying to find my balance here. I know I like I like what the Bible says pero hindi pa rin ito yung mm-hmm. uh, I think what's for me. That's totally fine. But if we can share you one thing that's written on the Bible and also what the science has been talking about when it comes to mental health is the verse on Philippians and there it says there on Philippians 4 8 whatever is true whatever is honorable whatever is just whatever is pure and lovely and commendable if there is any excellence if there is anything worthy of praise think about these things and I, I think that is like one of the greatest bible verses that talks about how powerful our mind is and if we do and if we do do the work and yes one you can one it would be good if you will surrender yourself to the one who created you but two you know if you just practice this right if you just practice this it definitely it will definitely um level up your mental health toolkit if if that's mm-hmm. what you wanna you wanna call it um at the end of the day there is beauty in surrender just like what jela says and when you surrender um, this is just gonna be parang yung magiging byproduct. You, 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 you will be f- not forced, but there is a magnet that that attracts you to think about what is true about yourself, and that is what God says about you. So you are enough. Um, this whatever you're feeling is temporary. You can go through this. Um, there are people are around you who loves you and supports you. There is, and those people are extension of God's love, just like what Shella said, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, you know, I feel like once you surrender the the reframing of your thoughts will will follow. So, mm-hmm. and that's when the real change happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Feeling ko kompleto na yung ano natin eh, yung game plan natin. So recap ko lang kasi may may gustong mag-share din after this ano, after this discussion no. So recap natin guys, so, number one, be aware. So ito pinag-usapan namin kanina when you are experiencing breakdowns and nararamdaman mo yung mga inner resistances na yan, you should be aware physically and mentally of the symptoms. So do it do that through observation. That's number one. Number two, acknowledge Okay, acknowledge that these emotions exist. Na yung um, concept of failure, losses, na wala ka pa sa kung saan mo gusto ka, as a trader or maybe even as a person, these problems exist. Okay, and sabi nga ni Liz, I, I think kanina na-mention niya na, the moment you acknowledge it, automatically nag-diminish yung strength ng mga bagay na yun. Number three, open up. Open up to people whom you can trust open up to a community that you can trust. So hopefully that is ER in our case. Number four, connect. Okay, connect to, not just to people, but to things that you love. Kasi yun nga, minsan uh, yung kulang lang naman talaga is for you to get out of your circle and experience again yung mga bagay na nagpapasaya sa'yo. And number five, and for me this is the most important, yung word na surrender. So, surrender in the sense na you have to surrender who you think you are as a person and yung worth mo, yung purpose na inisip mo na yun dapat yung purpose mo. And you have to surrender all of those things and accept kung ano talaga yung katotohanan. And that is, for me, for Liz and for Jella, we believe that the truth is your purpose, your worth, is not founded in this world. It can be only founded through Him. So, ito guys, ha, itong sinishare namin, this is not to like preach or ano ba, like to, to enforce yung beliefs namin. But if you look around you, ito yung napapansin ko na laging common. Like if you talk to Boss Z, if you talk to Ken, if you talk to me, you talk to Liz, you talk to Jella, you talk to the trading leaders. Ito yung common sa amin lahat. And I don't know if if that's a factor, if napapansin niyo na yun yung common denominator with the people na nakakatulong or usually na nakakatulong inside PR. But I hope you consider, guys. 
So, ayan. Um, before we end this session, meron akong invite na additional guest in our discussion. So, sige Brad, pasok Brad. Hello. <coughs> Greg ba ako? Yeah, hi Ken. Hello. Hi Yuri. Hello. Nasa labas ako, sorry, maingay. Okay, clear ba yung boses ko? Yes, very clear. Very naman ako. Oh. Okay. So, kwento ko lang ante. It has been my mentee for almost, I think, two years na ba, Brad? If I'm not mistaken. So, when he started Project Seed, I think 2018 or 19. Tama ba? Um, and Eight, I was yeah. able to... At uh, 2018, So, I was able to... Kami ni Ish, minsan lang kami mag, mag-usap, but um, pag nag-usap, medyo mahaba talaga. Usually, mahaba yung usapan. Um, pwede, mo, pwede mong balikan yun na pag-usapan natin two years back, Brad, about trading, about paano natin i-calibrate yung trading mo from technicals to mindset and stuff like that. But let me share something, guys, na struggle din sa isa sa mga trading mentors ko. Um, he's a very successful trader. Hindi ko lang pangangalan sino. He's very uh, successful trader. But um, he asked his mentor na parang may kulang daw. So his mentor told him na um, since you're very successful in your trading, in your career, and you still find that void in your heart. Um, it's no longer can be found on on material things or and stuff like that in the world. Um, sinabi ng mentor na yun, uh, you have problems regarding um, it, it's more about the spirit spirituality daw. So, tong mentor na to um, tried to tried to understand it and naging napunta siya sa uh, giving charity and stuff like that so um, unfortunately last like I think two years ago I tried to try to ask him again about it and unfortunately uh, parang hindi niya parin nasagot yung question na yon uh, na after a few years so um, I I will be sharing this too since it's it's my experience as well. Na majority of the problems na a, per, a person has or let's be specific as to a trader siguro or hmm. lahat I believe it's it's uh they they think that it's about mental problem and stuff like that but but actually it's more than that. I believe it's more about uh, the purpose in your life. Na parang even though ish na sabi mo you're okay with your trading and stuff like that, um, but parang may kulang pa rin. And I believe I have the answer to it, and, and and keep sharing it to you. And it changed my life. It's actually found in the person of Jesus Christ. Now that might. You might think na la coming from you na ang kulit-kulit mo. Don't <laughs> ano, wag ka mag-focus sa person who's saying but focus on what I'm sharing because I believe um it really changed my life uh knowing what my savior did for me and what he did on the cross for me that really shifted my my entire view. Knowing that parang um I now know what my purpose in life. I I now know why I wake up every day and do my best in trading uh, because of it. So I'll just make it very short because I've been sharing it to you for um for the past few weeks or months, I I believe. And I hope na I believe that's the that's the one hundred percent answer to your problems. And it's not found in reading any book or watching any YouTube. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. It's 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 about it's about Jesus Christ, man. I I can't express totally express what I'm. I want to tell you in just this, this short period of time, but I believe that's the hundred percent answer. So thank you. I hope I, I hope you'll give it a try, man. Thank you, Brad. 
Ingat ka, nagde-drive ka pala, naririnig yung signal light mo. <laughs> Ayan, so that's um Coach Ken. So, yun na nga guys, no. Um again, the, uh we are not psychologists and we are not enforcing things here. We are we are just expressing out of our own experiences and beliefs. So, yun, uh, we believe that's that's the game plan to deal with inner resistances and breakdowns. All right? Um Liz and Jella, nandiyan pa ba kayo? Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you Ken for sharing. Yeah. Right. Okay, nap- napangiti ako coming coming from Ken ha. Isipin niyo guys, ha? coming from Ken. <laughs> so, I mean, wala no ano naman, no, nothing intended, pero coming from him, 'di ba? So I hope you you consider, you guys consider. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, um any final words to our audience right now before we wrap up our podcast? Ako um, siguro si from Lizel mo na, sige. Ayan, sorry. Ako, eto. So, um, it has been my life's advocacy to share mental health because I've been there. I had suicide ideation. I had long-term depression. I had anxiety. I still have um, panic attacks from time to time. So, I know the struggle. And just like what, you know, Yuri mentioned, um, God is near to the brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. And so if you are going through one, um, know that once you surrender, you know, that, that testing produces endurance and maturity. And your struggles, whilst they are difficult, they are not pointless. And it can be used for God's glory. So whatever it is that you're going through, you're not alone. Please ask for help and know that This journey has definitely a purpose. I know that is that sounds like ah, uh, yana naman yung toxic ano toxic positivity na <laughs> toxic but, positivity. <laughs> but but I'm saying this because I know it is true and I have seen it in thousands of other lives, not just in the Bible, but with with by my own life and the people that I know. So yon, just kapit ka lang. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yon. Thank you, Liz. Um, Jella. Final words. Yeah, actually, you know, I really appreciate you guys saying and you know sharing what you guys feel and what you think about the situation itself. And um, one thing then na that just came into mind ngayon lang na I think maybe one of the things na uh, keeping you away from alam mo yon going to God is that maybe you're thinking na hey para para kung di ako alam mo yon di ako worthy enough to even talk to you ganyan because of the thing that I did you know mm-hmm. but then you know, I want I, I just really want to encourage everyone that he's not there to condemn you you know like what Liz said na he is close to the broken hearted you know and I really pray that I know you guys would also feel that he's beyond understanding that can only be found in him talaga so yun lang <laughs> thank you thank you Thank you, Jella. Um, oh, also, sorry, 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 boss, boss. Uh, sure, promote sure, sure. Na, promote na lang din namin. No? We, we, Nash actually started Bible <laughs> study. Oh nga eh. Ito nga, hindi ako naka-join <laughs> kanina, sayang. Yeah, actually, kanina, no, yun yung first namin na uh, session. And it, and it was really good. We talked about, you know, making plans. Ganyan. Hmm. And if you guys could come, that's, ano, reg- I think that's gonna be a regular thing. Sunday, 10 a.m. Yeah. Sa anong oras yun, Oric? Sorry. Sunday? Sunday Para 10. ano natin? 10 a.m. Sunday 10 a.m. Okay, okay. Sige. Yeah, so, okay. thank you. It's an open invitation naman, guys. <laughs> paano, paano nyo kinakontact yung session via Zoom lang siya? Yeah, via Zoom. And Nash is leading us kanina. Hmm, <laughs> that's, that's very nice. Parang matagal ko na din yung, uh, matagal na namin napapag-usapan yan dati ni na Bossy. Tapos ngayon, ano na siya? At least it's, yeah. it's not really already. Hmm. Okay. Um meron akong gustong i-share din uh, to wrap up yung ano. So this is also one of my favorite verses. I think it's it's a common verse na alam ng lahat no wait. Let me share it here. Medyo pixelated lang yung <laughs> yung image na na-download ko but anyway, it's the thought that counts naman. So ito guys, no. Um this is from yan Philippians 4:3 to 7. 
So rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing. Grabe, no? Be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace that only comes from Him, which surpasses all understanding. So no one can understand it. Even ako, hindi ko siya naiintindihan. I just know na it's there. will guard your hearts and minds to Christ Jesus. So, I hope guys, um, you find that peace in yourself every time you experience these things. Um, we are not saying na hindi mo na siya mararanasan the moment you go to Him, the moment you go through the game plan because it's going to be there, anxiety, depression, all these things, it's always going to be present in our lives. But there is a way to deal with these things and it's a foolproof way. At least that's that's what we what we believe. All right, so that's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, Liz. Thank you, Jella, for being part of this very heartwarming episode. And sa lahat ng nandito ngayon, sana may nakuha kayo, may natutunan kayo from our discussion. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, everyone. Thank you, Sir Jess. Thank you, Jella. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank Liz. You. Thank you, Boss Cosmos.